Hi, this is Eric for Ochoi. In this video, we're going to talk about the frames to precache setting that is found in the Octane Render tab of the Render Settings window. The idea behind frames to precache is it's a caching mechanism which uh, allows Octane to preload the chosen animation span into the Octane engine as it's calculating all the geometry and shaders and lighting and that kind of thing. So this is helpful when you're working in an animated scene and you want to improve the uh, update speed as you're working through, scrubbing through the animation and that kind of thing. So in this particular scene, if I scrub through it, you can see that I have a little robot here and he kind of zooms across the screen or zigzags across the screen. So simple animation, it's about 120 frames long. If I have frames to precache set to zero, then it will take less time for Octane to load the scene into memory, but it's going to take more time as you go from one frame to the next, because it's going to have to reload for each frame. So setting this to zero is good if you're working in a large scene that doesn't have any animation in it. The actual setting here determines the number of frames that are loaded before and after the current frame. So if I set this to frame 40 and I set frames to precache frames to precache to 20, then that means it's going to precache 10 frames before frame 40 and 10 frames after. So it also means that when I switch to Octane, it's going to take a little bit longer to uh, load the scene into memory because it's accounting for the movement of the object in that span of frames. However, at the same time, it also means that when I start to scrub through the animation, you can see that it's pretty quick. You can see that robot is moving fairly quickly. Let's get into a later part in the scene so he's a little bit closer to the camera. So it kind of skipped ahead, so now it's caching the frames. It's changing the frames that it's going to be caching, so I'll give it a few seconds. And you can see now, as I move back and forth, it's pretty quick in terms of the update. So if I set this to, let's say, 100, let's say 100 frames, then it's going to take longer to cache, but the response will be even a little bit faster because I'll have more frames in memory. So as I scrub back and forth, I can scrub over a longer frame range. Sometimes when you're working in, in the viewport and rendering with Octane, uh, Octane won't refresh the scene correctly. So if you duplicate an object or you make a change to a position to an object, sometimes that duplication or that changed object won't show up. It'll just be invisible in the render. So one way to force it to refresh is to, you know, set frames to precache down to zero or just change this value so that it has to update the cache. And you should see that um, once that's done, the scene will then update correctly. Another way that you can force a refresh, if that's not working, is you can kind of go to the old school method, which is to open up the render view. Uh, let's say a snapshot camera one. And I'm going to hit the IPR button. You'll see that this goes back to viewport 2.0 in the viewport. And then this one will start to render. Let's turn off gamma correction. And if I hit this IPR button, it can force a refresh, which should update the geometry in the scene. So I hope you find these tips helpful when working in a scene with animation or if you're trying to get uh, Maya to, or if you're trying to get Octane to update the scene and refresh when you're rendering. And thanks again for watching.